Gemini. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. The oracle card spread is going to happen here. And then the full extended tarot card reading is linked down below. This also includes your romance reading for the week. You can check out the romantic tarot. I'll paste that up above for you to easily access it. But right now, this is Gemini energy. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini energy, Gemini sun, moon, and rising sign. Anywhere Gemini energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days because this is an energetic reading, okay? So, interesting, okay. Um, remember, if, if it doesn't fit, then don't try to squeeze it. You were not Cinderella stepsisters, and it did not work well for them. So, just don't do it. Way too much came out. There's no such thing as a reading this big. But here. That was definitely a thing. Hold on. Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Okay. A lot's coming out face up. We have your crowning energy, which is time to heal and be generous of spirit. So it's time to hear. It's time to heal you. It's time to heal how you feel about yourself. It's time to heal um, your outlook or prospect on life, but more than anything, on who you are on your direction in life, on where you're going, on how much you believe in yourself and how much you, um, how much, how well, how good you feel about yourself. It's, it's time to sort of, I think, be honest. I think that's what it is. It's about being honest and purging those parts of you that you may not like. It's almost like those two sides of you, right? Conflicting and, and trying to move you in different directions. One maybe wants more stability and the other wants adventure. You may, be, you may feel the energy this week of feeling divided, feeling divided between staying or going. Um, um, in other words, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship, but it could be, for example, like deciding to stay in a relationship or to leave a relationship. Um, some sort of melancholy or some sort of feeling that you kept digging, something, something that you suppressed deep down inside that maybe has been churning and driving you um, subconsciously for a while is now emerging and almost taking form so that it's something tangible for you to understand and sort of accept it and incorporate it into who you are. This is also about letting go of the past because a lot of the cards fell out face up, which means they're ready to be seen, but they fell out over toward the left, which for me always means something in the past, something happened in the past. So it's like trying to look forward, even though maybe your past wasn't something that you're proud of. So this is a sense of self-acceptance, despite the fact that um, you're sort of facing your ugly this week. And, and, and trying to find a way to be proud of who you are, even though part of who you are is something that you're not that proud of. And it's not that you're, you're trying to protect it or defend it or keep it there. It's that you're trying to understand yourself as a whole and accept yourself as a whole. And Or this might not be, it's you trying to accept, and I'm saying yourself because this is a Leo energy. This is a sense of self. This is a sense of courage and confidence and restore your sense of courage and confidence in yourself, your sense of self, your, your strength and your ability to look into the future by basically owning the past and defeating the, the past by owning it, taking root, setting up shop, making a decision to stay somewhere instead of maybe always run from something. There definitely seems to be some sort of confrontation that you're having with um, the past this week. That's, that's all I can say. Three more cards are out and all of them are upside down. Um, some sort of tangled up, being stuck, somebody weaving their web around you or trapping you or pulling your strings. This is definitely mother energy 
who else got this card in reverse as well? It was that's really interesting. If I remember it, I will attach it above because there was another sign that got this card as well. Aries, Aries. Um, they had this energy of maybe a mother figure or a grandmother because uh, spiders represent grandmothers, grandmother energy. Um, um, uh, sort of pulling your strings, almost like you were a puppet on a, on a chain. So there's an energy of something to do with your roots, something to do with your past, maybe some sort of family life that has made you stuck and made you feel like you weren't in complete control of yourself. This is all happening from your past though. Tend to the small things. This is um, the overwhelming sense of um, like the straw that broke the camel's back, like that last little bit, like you've, you've, you've either boarded something up or pushed something down or repressed something for so long. And there was this little tiny straw that broke the camel's back. That was it. Just that one more, you remember seeing that, remember that scene from Monty Python's, um, um, the meaning of life, just one more mint, just one more mint and kaboom. Well, this is the kaboom moment, man, because this is the this is the one more mint. That's what it is. It's that straw that broke the camel's back. But understand that it was a very, very good thing. It was a need. Something needed to burst open and come open. And this is your energy right there. The central energy of um, you're not waiting anymore. Uh, things aren't being held back anymore. The dam has burst open and it's flooding open. And I almost feel, Gemini, this is almost like a wound like a pustule that needed to burst open in order to let all the sick out. And I feel like that just happened. That's what the next seven days are going to be. So you could be looking at sort of um, some sort of almost redemption through healing this week um, or know somebody very, very close to you that's going through something like that. It could also indicate that there is a sense of something happening with your mother or a grandmother in your life. Maybe... Um, um, maybe, uh, their, their health is not so good. Let's just put it that way. Um, or if that's not the case, it's almost like maybe the relationship between you and them has completely and totally deteriorate, deteriorated for some, um, deteriorated. Um, and it, it what it, it's over. It's almost like it's, it's, it, it's, it's terminated that it, there was just one, that final straw that you, it was, yeah, the final straw hit. And now it's done. Um, but for, for some reason, that's very liberating to you. So even if you're best friends with your mother, um, there's a sense of some sort of ancestral or inherited hurt or suffering or um, trauma that comes to a head this week and bursts open, um, you know, it's almost like you've decided to move on. You've decided to turn away from this. You've decided to stop looking at it and stop letting it control you. And you've decided to just get going and moving in the opposite direction. Um, yeah, this is definitely a sense of um, your thoughts and your words being your defense this week, being very defensive, being very bristly toward people, but also walking into the room with your de your defenses displayed. So is it, it's not like hidden defenses, Gemini. It's, but it is, you know, oh, this is really difficult to explain. So uh, time for a beginner mind. You, it, it's yours. It's like, it's like the porcupine wears thousands of thousands of swords. Right, and, and and it's it's openly displaying those swords. So this wonderful thing that's happening is it's literally like taking you and turned you inside out, and so all your wounds and all your defensiveness is demonstrated. It's shown, and you want people to know. You want people to know. You want them to see. You you don't mind demonstrating. Um, I'm here to get you, or I'm after you, or I'm not going to take this anymore. I'm ready for you type of energy. Um, because you are, you are ready to shoot off those, those spines in anybody's nose or face that you need to. You're just not taking any BS anymore. And I think it's almost like you want to be challenged in some way. Um, learn from the past. 
this is a very hopeful card. This is an energy of, that's grounding energy. This could be Taurus energy, um, mostly Taurus energy. Um, this is this is strength and determination and character and also loyalty, knowing where you stand. This is um, fidelity to family, um, um, but a sense of, and I, I know I said, sort of in order to stand up for a part of your family, you had to call out another part of your family. You know, it's almost like there was a sick part of your family, if that makes sense, or a, a sick part of your friend group, or, you know, it's like not all of it was bad, but some of you were, and it's almost like you've made the decision that you don't, that you, you, it's almost like drawing a line and saying, I, I don't have to, I don't have to keep this, I don't have to keep protecting this sickness anymore. This is a sense of, I want to protect my future now. Um, something happening, reoccurring from the past, coming up and you've learned your lesson. This is like a karmic lesson that has taught you something. You finally learned it. Um, it could be family karma. That's all I'm saying. It could be family karma that has kept coming back to you over and over and over again. Um, and it's almost like this week, you get it. It's like finally you get it. You get what the karma has been trying to teach you this whole time. And I, I do believe that's part of that healing process. Um, trust the great mystery. I don't, I don't, honestly, Gemini, is somebody going to counseling out there? This is almost like, this is almost like diving in deep, not being afraid to look at, look it in the eye anymore. This is almost like a deep trauma or a deep sadness, um, um, being confronted for the very first time. Wow. And six plus five, six plus five is the energy of 11. So there's awakening here. So in confronting that thing that you were basically packing away in the closet. Um, it, it's almost like something broke. I don't know if you tried to pack that one last thing in the closet and that's what broke everything. Everything came open, but everything really had to come open. And this is this is you, instead of running from it, you con you're confronting it dead on. And it's very, very emotional and it's very deep. And I think you're taking a deep breath and you're just diving in because you're tired of it controlling you. You're basically tired of the snake taking over you. That, it's that kundalini energy that, that is being released and it's like all the demons are being purged. And, and it may feel a little bit like Pandora's box being torn open this week. Um, for your grounding energy, this is what we have, and it's a beautiful one. Reclaim your power. Your strength is coming back. Your sense of self is coming back. And it's almost like instead of this, this proud, strong, idyllic version of you with the snake facing in the opposite direction, it's like the two have become one. And there is that deep, dark part of you, but it's also all of you. It's you as a whole. It's you together and collected. And you're, it's almost like accepting those parts of yourself and incorporating them both into who you are and into your persona. Um, it's almost like I'm going to go ahead and say this. It's like if somebody is going into rehab, somebody is reclaiming their power after some sort of emotional therapy or psychological therapy or post-traumatic stress disorder therapy. It's like, it's like putting back the pieces after a really huge trauma that has been, that, that, that has been like turned away from or ignored for, for so long, but it, it's, it's, it's not, it can't. This week, there is no lying about it. And it's not, you don't even want to run from it. It's almost like you're intentionally running for, toward it because you're just so sick of it controlling you and you, and you just want to stamp it out. And it's, it's you taking the final stand come heck or high water. This is your final stand. And honestly, Gemini, I think it's changing your entire existence. Um, it's changing your entire existence because there is somebody here. I feel like in the past, something that you were stuck with somebody always pulling your strings, somebody always, um, tugging on you or trying to control you and manipulate you based on these, these needling little things that they said were, you know, were reasons why you owed them and you're just done. You're like, I don't owe you anything. I'm, I'm basically through, but this has to do with not just 
It's not a, it's not a relationship. It's not like a boyfriend, girlfriend, and I'm upset. It's, it's got nothing to do with that. This is like deep and personal. I'm telling you right now, this is a hundred percent family karma. This could have been a family karmic pattern that's been going on for generations. And finally, you're the one that's busting the pustule. That's the energy that I'm feeling. Let me get a deeper read in tarot. Uh, the extended link is below and we'll go into your romantic tarot too. I'll see you over there.